Hi, I'm Stephanie and this is my home, the 16th century Chateau de la Lande. La Lande was owned for hundreds of years by a family of marquises who were at the heart of French royal life. One of them even had the honour of being sent by King Louis XV to greet Marie Antoinette on her arrival in France. But, far from being a stuffy museum, this chateau is a living home. I live here all the time and I'm regularly joined by my mother, my family, my friends and wonderful volunteers from all over the world who help me to lovingly restore this historic home. Welcome to La Lande, a chateau filled with life, love and laughter. I have woken up pretty wildly excited today because I'm going on holiday. Philip and I are going to be leaving here with Gerald. We've got the same flight to London as him. And then tomorrow we will be flying to the Caribbean on our way to New York. I really can't believe it. And now I'm trying to work out what to pack. What do I pack for three weeks away? Two of which are going to be in the Caribbean on an island. And one will be in New York. I, I have no idea what to pack. I cannot believe this. I haven't even put the things from New York in and my suitcase is already full. Obviously, it's packed with essentials like mini Scott Man. Full-size Scott Man can't come with us, so mini Scott Man's going to have to try and make up for that. Oh my goodness, there is a deer out of the window, but I'm scared to open the window because I think he'll run off. The minute they hear me, look! so pretty so i've got the old glass and so i have to move to a bit that actually lets me see through it because it's full of like lumps and bumps because it's 19th century okay now that we've had a little shot i'm going to try and very quietly open my window i don't have high hopes on this oh she's so pretty she hears me trying to open the window I did scare her off when I tried to open the window, but my friends managed to get amazing footage with their much better cameras. And look, isn't she adorable? And it turned out there were two of them. Just heartbreakingly sweet. Beautiful. Yeah, do you like it? Yeah, I really, really do. Because when I came back, that was, it was quite... It was a lot darker out there. Yes. And it looked really... It, it really, really did it. We were all worried about the darkness yeah. in the corridor, but now we all love but it. With, with the two chandeliers, it'll be absolutely fine. Yeah. Passing, and this bit stunning. is so pretty with the light yeah. from the window. Yes, yes. You're not doing... You're not papering the returns? No, I'm going to paint the reveals okay, right. in the same sort of blue, I think. Yeah, I think so. I've got a soft... Blue. I do it's, have enough wallpaper to paint really it up, but I don't think I'm going to. No, I think, yeah, I think it actually did give some... Yeah. Image. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Uh, windows. So blue on that. What about the cell? Blue as well? Yeah, I couldn't paint them because Selma's left. Apparently, this is all rather important. Yes, it is. Yes, I'm not, I'm not allowed to paint over any no. of this. And I can paint all of that when I get back. Okay. Are you, you going to paint this? Or do you want Selma on that? Uh, he can paint it too. I'll chat to him whilst I'm away mm. about yeah. colours. But in fact, he barely gets back before me. So okay. I'm not sure that yeah, he'll have much time. Look at the little birds. I know, they're so cute. I really, really love this paper. Really, really like it. Can I have a last, a final update about Natty's room before I leave? Yes. Oh, let's step, go and have a look. Step this way. Now, right, so now, go. the day that I'm leaving, now it decides to be beautiful yes, weather. Yes, isn't that typical? Well, it's just waving you goodbye. <laughs> Just getting you into the th the thought of uh, hotter climbs. So when I said step this way, oh, you meant it. I meant it entirely. That's not the fi fin no, final. No, fin no, final. No, <laughs> I was going no, to say, no. I'm not sure about the final no, look. It's not really chateau, is it? Yeah, <laughs> but it's um, for us to see how we feel. Yeah. I like it, and yeah. this will run along the side of the kitchen yes. units, won't There's it? Another, there'll be another floor joist coming out here. Yes, which will leave us. Uh, 60 centimetres 60 good which is the width of the kitchen unit so there's yes. no chance of walking past the kitchen and, and then knocking your knocking foot it. yes oh may I go up the stairs please yes, indeed. Oh, well how exciting how's that hello everyone <laughs> it's like a stage I can see Natty running the empire from up here I can, I can see you being in here singing because you're going to think you're back on stage <laughs> no I can see us all like naughty school children down where you are and I say yeah. did you do this did you, did do, you this? do this yes. have you finished yes. that Yes, right. this is good. Detention, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I'm loving it. A sight meeting. And honestly, oh, sorry. I didn't really want the split level. I, I wanted it all on one level, but 
I am really glad I agreed to it because it's quite exciting coming up here and it feels as though the kitchen as you come in is a separate a separate yeah, room it's kept rather off. than all in yes. one room. When you've got a big apartment, sometimes they took that kitchen in the dining room into the lounge yes. sometimes feels a bit invasive. Yes, or, it feels much here, bigger. I think it's tucked away. I lost it your head again. Definitely made it feel much, much bigger and a more private living area. I think so. Separate from the kitchen. I love it. I really love good. it, Ian. It's you're great. Good. I'm glad you're happy with it. Can't wait to see the windows opened up. And it adds another element to our land, of course, because we don't have yes. anything else at split level. Yes. We actually have a little bit of news on the planning permission. We received the planning permission and on closer inspection, there was no mention of the door in the middle. They haven't said you don't have planning permission. They no. said you have planning permission under the following conditions and talking about the sort of wood that we need to use yes. and saying, so you'll have um, the current openings will become either a door or a window and no mention of the new one in the middle. No. Well, let's double check. I don't want to put an opening in if we don't have no. the permission for the opening. We know that we have the permission for these to be either mm. doors or windows. Mm. If they are not happy with us having the middle door, and that's a perfect place for the wardrobe. So I'm actually not that well, stressed. I would say and, one window next yes, to the bed and yes. a set of doors in the sitting room. So. If that's the case, we're still waiting yes, to just yes, get final yes. confirmation on our mm. planning. But I, I'm, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. It's good for me to go away, Ian, knowing that this is getting on. And All I in my safe hands. Oh, yes, your safe hands and I'll, I'll be back. I cannot wait to see what's happened at the beginning of September. Marvellous. <laughs> Where's my cousin? Cousin! Oh, there he is! I thought we could have a little walk round just before I go. Okay. Um, to make sure that we're on the same page with everything that's going to be happening. Okay. What you can be yeah. getting on with. Perfect. The main thing is the grand salon. So shall we just go and Let's have, a look. have a little look in yeah. there? Let's have a look. Right, cuz. This is so this is the paneling. This is what it's going to look like in here. Uh -huh. Pretty amazing. Gorgeous, yeah. I'll leave you everything you need to do the planning whilst I'm away. I know that you can't do any work because the panelling has to come in here for a month first. But what I can do is I can, unfortunately, strip it all, empty it, rip out all the walls, build the <laughs> Natty's stuff. face is like... <laughs> build, the stud, build the stud walls and then put the panelling yeah. in here and let it sit. And you can do settle. that after the workshops, because the workshops are, they'll be going on, the music workshops, that's how I can go away, because I don't go away when we have bed and breakfast guests here, because I see them every weekend, we all eat together. And so the only way that I was able to go to New York for Christie's and find two weeks is because we don't have bed and breakfast guests for the next three weeks. We just have music workshops and I'm, so sad to be missing them because it's my friends who are coming back and i i love i think the music workshops more than anything because there's so much music in the house but it does mean that i'm able to go to new york which is fantastic and they're fine with us stacking the paneling in here but they will be using the room so we can't have dust and mess and plasterboard disappearing until they've gone okay. so beginning of september you can get beginning started september, on the rest the yeah the yeah. future guests they will not have a grand salon to no, use. No, no. So bed and breakfast guests for the rest of the year. You won't have the grand salon to use, but on the plus side, you will be able to see what's happening here. You'll actually be able to see everything transforming, which I think is really exciting. Oh, no, it is, it is exciting. Yeah. And before the panelling goes up, we must, at the back of the panelling, write the names of all the Dauphins and Dauphines patrons of La Land. Because that's, nice. that's going to go in the back of the panelling, so it's always part of the chateau. Do you want those panels to be able to come out so you can see them? So you can see them. Yeah. Is that possible? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Okay, look, well, I think we should look at that. So if they come over, you can pop the panel off and show them. Show them their names on the back. Yeah, yeah. I love the idea of that. Yeah. Okay, so in the month... Something else to add. <laughs> yeah. yeah, always things to add. Yes, yeah. Thanks to them, so mm. be a nice little treat. It is, It'll it's so treat. important. It is entirely thanks to the patrons that I got the panelling. Yeah. In the meantime, um, whilst I'm away, you're going to be Pottery. basically getting a liat. Natty's like, nope, he, he's gonna have stuff to do. There's a little hand going up behind the camera. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's what I do. saw. You got a few ideas? Yes, many ideas. And I know that Philip and Amory were talking about putting internal shutters into the tack room. Yes, exactly. That's, That's one of the nice ones. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. Monday's job. Monday's job. Seriously, you yeah, start Monday. Monday's job. Yeah. Yeah. Tomorrow I'm going to go venture into La Chatte. Du Comarche. 
Flash onion? Yeah, yeah. yes. We can actually see what the uh, French builders merchants are like in comparison to the English ones. <laughs> You're going to get to know Bricomarché and La Châtre very well yeah, indeed. Yeah. Try and see what kind of stuff they've got and then, yeah, try and get it all ready for Monday to start work Monday. I feel bad rushing off when you've just arrived, but no, I know... No, it's going to be fine because you won't be popping in saying, oh, can you just do this? Can, yeah, can, we, can we film? Can we film? Can we film? Can we film? Oh. You get three weeks off filming. Yeah. <laughs> she knows already that we'll be here with an extra camera just in case we need to film something extra. I know, honestly, right? things like the tack room internal shutters being done, I want some footage of that. I want to I see know. that. I know. I will have it for you. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, I've got to run. I mean, I've really, yeah. like, properly really got to cold. run. <laughs> oh, was he? <laughs> okay. <laughs> We've got to go. Great time. Oh, yeah, so well, sad. I'm well, you're happy. driving me, Amory, so you're I'm not going anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> okay, my packing is nearly done. It looks as I am actually going to leave. Going anywhere at the moment is, it's so stressful. I'm still waiting for the results of the PCR test and they have to come through in time for us to be able to fly. There's so many different moving parts. I'm going to distract myself from all of that by going to see the newly Yay. wallpapered bathroom that Jerry and I finished yesterday, the downstairs loo, and see how it looks in the light. I want to make sure that there's no like bubbles and... Oh, Jerry looks really good. Wow. We did a good job. Oh, yes. Yeah, there's no bubbles at all. I love it. I really love it. Look at this heaven of a downstairs, Lou. Superb. Are you pleased? Yeah, I was a bit concerned because, as you know, yesterday there was some bubbles. Yeah, and, you still see the glue bubbles, but... And, but I said to you, you know, like when we wallpapered the other room mm. and... You know, it looked to join, say, oh my goodness. And yeah, when you first done it. Leave it like, overnight. Yeah. And that's it, it tightens up and it comes through. It's there crazy. was it's there really was good. some sort of little marks, but they've all gone now. Yeah. You know, I've cleaned Fantastic. them down. Fantastic. We better get a wiggle on, Gerald. Yeah. I'm going to go for a final look to the walled garden to say goodbye. It's so strange going away for so long. Though actually by the time you see this video, I will already have been in the Caribbean for two weeks because I pre-filmed so that all of the videos still go out as usual. It's so strange for me to be going away for so long. Since the beginning of COVID, I've just had little trips for work actually, for filming. This is different. Oh, I love this garden. I truly love it. What a beautiful job everyone's done here. Look at the beans. And we ate some of the beans last night and they were delicious. Dan cooked for all of us. It was very, very good. There they are. There's the red cabbages, <laughs> splendid. All the dahlias. And whilst I'm packing up my suitcases into the car, I will leave you with a little bit of Dan Cam footage Dan sent me footage of the milling of the posts that will be for the pergola. I'll show you where the pergola is going to go. It's going to go from that little house all the way along, about the width of the house, all the way down to the fence in front of where the chickens are going to be going, just down there. And it will be covered with espaliered fruit trees and the vines and roses that are currently here will be growing over it and we'll plant some more as well. So this rose, which I planted 15 years ago, will be trained along the top of the pergola, along with the vines and more roses. And then on the front post of the pergola, there'll be espaliered fruit trees. So here's the footage that Dan sent to me of the incredible Nick milling the trees that he had cut down around the chapel.
Isn't that incredible? Just amazing. And to think that the beautiful pergola that we'll have here will all come from the wood that we had to cut down in order to protect the chapel. Nothing is leaving La Land, everything is being reused. It feels so good. Okay, now I really, really do have to leave. Bye, Ian. Bye. Have fun. See you soon. Bye. Thank you. <laughs> Oh. And Alina, I should be seeing you again in September, shouldn't yeah, I? Yeah, I hope so. Great, because it has been so lovely. Thank and you. I wish I'd had longer to hang out with you here. And your food is amazing. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. Oh, bye bye, this is horrible. Matty, I cannot describe so how much. much. Yeah, no, I, I can't even. <laughs> I'm going to miss you massively. Yeah, me too, but enjoy a lot. Nancy, thanks for that. <laughs> I'm sorry, I forgot your name. <laughs> Take care. Here yeah. we go. I should be buying a ticket right away. No, I, I can't. Say, when are you coming Alina, back? Yeah, thank we need to know. Thank you. Yeah, thank you for Yeah, no, it's been a lovely day of me. I am never nervous for travelling, and I am beside myself with nerves today. Is, is that because I'm in the camera? Bye. Bye. Well, we're going to get to the airport on time. That's one thing we can be sure of. You know, <laughs> any, any faster, we'll be going back in time. <laughs> Have a lovely, safe journey. Okay? Thanks so much, Kaz. Oh, Have fun. Don't let La Land drive you mad. I won't. Remember, it is La La Land. <laughs> Bye. Take care, guys. Bye. All my love. Bye. It has been super, super stressful, hasn't it? Crazily stressful. We had our PCR test yesterday. We phoned the lab when we were told to at 2 p.m. today. And we're told that actually. They don't know why, but they didn't receive receive our tests until this morning and that we will get them at some point tomorrow and they can't guarantee when. Which meant that we couldn't fly to England, so we had to get rapid antigen tests on the way to the airport, which we managed to get. That was okay to get into England, but it's not okay to get into Barbados tomorrow. And if our results do not arrive, by 9.30 a.m., in fact, before then, we'll have to put our flights at 9.30, but I don't think they're going to arrive. So I've had a bit of a breakdown. Flight number one, we've managed to get on to. Philip got me a cup of tea, which is calming me down considerably. But now I've no idea whether we're going to be able to fly tomorrow or not. I'm trying to find out if we can get some sort of PCR tests overnight in the UK but I can't check on my phone now because I'm in the air and it's on flight mode. I think I just have to calm down, have my tea and hope that all will be well. I mean, you haven't even mentioned the fact that uh, there was a little trouble with getting Jerry onto this flight. Jerry nearly didn't get onto this flight because to go to England, you have to book a PCR test on day two after arriving. You have to prove that you've booked it before flying. He'd booked it, but the lab didn't send him the proof. He had to book another one. Philip and I both had to book them, even though we won't even be in England on day two. We're flying straight out. Each of them cost £60, so this was mounting up. Jerry's original one cost £80. Oh my goodness. So. so it's been extremely expensive for no reason whatsoever. Jerry had his test. We can't use our test. Jerry's had to book two tests. We're on a flight. Anyway, we're on a plane. It seems like a miracle in itself, and I'm remembering the joys of travel after my little freak out. I'm, I'm remembering how beautiful it is to look down at the clouds. This is a sight that I hadn't seen in a really long time and which I am never, ever going to take for granted again. A lovely person sent me a colouring inset for my birthday, which I, I brought just to save some time on the plane because it's a nine hour flight to Barbados. But in fact, it's doing a very good job of keeping me safe right now. We are about to land in London. Flight number one. Oh my goodness, I can breathe. Massive shout out to Randox Health Mobile Testing Centre at Stansted because they had just closed and reopened because I was just begging them. I was like, I can't, I can't go away tomorrow. And 
they just honestly stayed open. One of the nurses stayed behind especially and they've tested us and we're going to be going to Barbados tomorrow. Gerald, you are an angel. And we are the right one. Gerald's driving us to Heathrow. We're gonna be staying in a hotel here and off tomorrow morning. And it was Sod's Law, the minute we got into the car, no, having no. paid a fortune for our PCR tests at Stansted, the minute we got into the car, we received the results of the PCR tests in France. So we have so many PCR tests like coming out of our ears. We have so many certificates that we're definitely gonna be able to fly tomorrow. I shouldn't have said definitely, should I? <laughs> I think we're gonna be able to fly tomorrow. I don't want to leave you, Gerald. Sweetheart, I don't want to leave you either, but I think this is a fan dabby dozy opportunity you've got. And don't forget when you're a multi-millionaire is, don't yeah. forget your big brother. Now he's getting an apartment. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. It's so good having you back at Lalan. And you arranged to come as soon as we're back, September? September, we'll sort something in September. Love you, Jack. Love you too, sweetheart. You have a good time, you understand me. I need to go and find the restaurant now. Maybe something like fish and chips is what I need. Do you think I if I wait here, I'll get a fair? <laughs> from Anybody Lincoln come back to <laughs> Love you, Gerald. Love Safe you journey. Please drive carefully. Great. Both of you have a great time. Thank you. Bye. Now I am truly in England. Look at this. It's getting British. And you ordered pretty much all the sides. Uh, actually, I did order all the sides. You ordered every side available. Garlic yes. bread, chips, onion rings, mash. I like the chips and mash combo. Thank you. And French beans. I bet you they won't be as good as Dan's but last night. <laughs> Good morning, London. I've woken up feeling a lot calmer than yesterday and ready to go on an awfully big adventure. Huge excitement at the airport. We've had all the necessary paperwork, uh, which is kind of surprising after the day we had yesterday. So it's time to send my little bag on its way. It's got a little case with like cheetahs on it just to keep it clean whilst it's traveling. It's so sweet. Like, so near, yet so far, I'm literally just boarding when my passport made a big bleeping noise and they've told us to wait to one side. We just got upgraded to premium economy and I suspect that I have our guests from night before last at their lounge to thank for that who worked for Virgin. So thank you. Seriously, we thought I wasn't going to be allowed on the flight. I thought I'd done something wrong. Cheers. Oh, this is this is much nicer than I was expecting. We've got quite a lot of space here, and most importantly, because I have to edit all the way, we have sockets. It's a huge screen. You're being naughtier than me. <laughs> I'm going for orange juice. I'm allergic to orange juice. Oh, okay. She also has water. <laughs> <laughs> it's happening. We're taking off. I'm loving this camera. I'm trying to get as much work done as I can on the plane so that when I arrive, I can relax and I've got a really good cup of tea. It's helping a lot. They've given us ice cream. Ice cream, editing, and movies. It's a good flight. Amazingly, we are about to land. We're feeling really, really cheerful. We've been on this plane for eight hours and we've just been served afternoon tea and I've nearly finished tomorrow's video, so I'm really very pleased with myself. I just edited for eight hours straight. And look how pretty it is. This is the napkin, then there's an egg sandwich, and look, a scone with lovely strawberry jam and far more excitingly. Clotted cream and a cup of tea. Oh my goodness, this has come at once. And in an hour, we'll be landing in Barbados. When it comes to scones, the English nation is divided. What do you put on first? The jam or the cream? Well, there we go. My secret is out. I put the jam on first so that I could really pile up the clotted cream. This is already a great holiday and we haven't left the plane. We are approaching Barbados. Feels like a dream. I wonder which of those buildings is our hotel. I am 
loving the cameras on this. I can't turn my eyes away from it. Also, we're in the middle, so I can't look out of the window easily, and it's perfect. I've got such a great view here through the camera. Beaches, coral. I'm beginning to think this was the right decision. I've never seen this. <laughs> Not for you, don't you worry. Fourth PCR test in 24 hours or 36 hours. Not bad. At least you chose a different nostril. <laughs> We've got to be thankful for small mercies. <laughs> We have made it to paradise and because I pre-recorded the last couple of weeks of vlogs you've now caught up with us in real time and we've been in Barbados for nearly two weeks so join us in Tuesday's vlog to find out the beautiful places we've stayed in and to see if we make it safely to New York. A huge thank you to all of our patrons who make this vlog possible and the Dauphins and Dauphines of La Lande, Yadel and Ether, Alice Allen, Dan Bander, Wailing Banshee, Brian Barnard, Brandon and John, Michael, Cecilia Begum, Denise Behrens, Danel Benakovich, Jill Bidwell, Candice Blackburn, Candice Ned Borkowski, Clara Butcher, Paulina Calabro, Chloe Chalakani, Lindsay C. Chelton, Stephen Sarah Cole, Linda Sue Concepcion, Erin Conklin, Zoe Dork, Sylvia Dem, Jim Demersman and Richard Patternord, Sakura Dennis, Zane Dixon, Jason Dubby, Jackie Allison, Nicholas W. Fairfax, Tracy Ferrari, Caroline Furster, Kevin Fossum, Abigail Grant, Fifi Green, Greenberg, Crystal Hardy, Brenda Harris, Delaine Holbrook, Kim Hasselhoff, David and Tong Henderson, Camilla Herrera, Jacqueline Holmes and Ken Bates, Priscilla Hoob, Lissandra Hawley, Melissa Jansen, Brian Kelsey and Phil Burnt, Jimmy Kemp, Nadia Kennedy, Lisa LaForge, Dave and Summer Lalande, Morgan Lawley, Angel Leonard, Victoria Lapine, Janet Huff Lombard, Marina Frank Martin, Meredith Robert Miller, Joanne Morton, Karen Nicholson, Kathy Nori, Maureen Palmer, Ellen Person, Wendy Piatek, Frank Poposki and James Snow, Tamara Price, Armin Rahman, Tonya Renee, RJB, Bettina Rojek, Hanny Ross, Mary Ryan, Elizabeth Scanlon, Sven Schreiber, Lisa Schultz, Jennifer Shanks, Rebecca Shorrock, Carl and Laurie Siebert, Teresa Sloan, Patty Suhu, Susan Stevens, Monty Stipora, Sabrina Surratt, and the Leaf House, Sarah Thornton, Colleen Troyer, Renee Vallelli, Victoria, Jessica Walker, Brandy Walton, Laura Watkins, Lucas Wallen, James Whalen, Cheryl Whitaker, Linda Wiest, Christine Wilson, Winnie de la Cocopoo, Greg Wood, David Young, and Lodovico Zordonazzo.